John, I just wondered um, to what extent uh, you see this film as being an examination of the American dream, sort of how it's embraced and interpreted. I love that uh, it's a it's a kind of a story that you can get behind the amazing explosion of what happened with McDonald's. That it's a worldwide company, people can uh, poo poo it all they want, but they go. People go to McDonald's all over the world, and they love it. So there must be something they like. But they're also left with a sense of, wow, uh, maybe I'm not comfortable with what that means. Maybe I'm not comfortable with um, what the cost was, not only in terms of the, the loss, the feeling of loss I I that you learn about from the McDonald's brothers, but also Harry's loss later on in the story that you discover, uh, but also the sense that we've made this thing that has transformed the way we eat, transformed the food industry, transformed everything about how we relate to our food, and is that actually a good thing? Uh, I think we're left to ask that question, which is a good question for us to ask. And Nick, can you give us a bit of an insight on who the McDonald's brothers are as we see them in the movie and how maybe what they stand for contrasts a bit with, with Ray? Sure, uh, you know, it was very gratifying to play these hardworking brothers uh, in an old-fashioned American sense, you know, they, they tried their hands at a few different businesses, they had dreams, but they were all uh, realistic dreams, you know, what, what Ray Kroc ended up doing with their idea, could never, they could never have fathomed. Um, and so I feel like the, the brothers represent the sort of old-fashioned American ideal of a, a community of people who work hard and they succeed. And if they do succeed, it's because their work has integrity and they have the welfare of other people in mind. That that's sort of sets up what Ray Kroc is willing to discard in order to achieve his greedy dream. And BJ, your, your character, Harry, a little bit like the sort of devil on Ray's shoulder in a way, kind of telling him how he might be able to wrest control of the business. What was your take on him and did you find sort of things to admire about him? Absolutely. I, I read a bit about his life and he was a very um, good person. He, he loved a great idea and he conceptualized this brilliant business move that McDonald's still uses and in fact many businesses imitate now, which is that McDonald's is really a real estate company. What they do is they buy plots of land and then lease the right to have a McDonald's to the highest bidder. So they make their money on a much more profitable path than just a couple cents on a hamburger. So I, I enjoy playing a character who had the joy of coming up with this great idea. And it's like inventing a weapon in the Manhattan Project. Like it, it's not his job to say how it should be used. And I love the relationship between the two brothers. How, how did you go about sort of creating that kind of convincing fraternal relationship? They've been very comfortable in each other's presence, don't they? Yeah, we had the good fortune of, uh, of having some rehearsal, which was nice, but, but also it was easy to, you're an easy man to love, <laughs> I've got to tell you. Uh, I, I, really, I really appreciate uh, uh, working with uh, Nick. I, I loved working with him, and it, was, it felt we have a theater background, both of us in different ways, but that felt like it came to play uh, in the way in which we related, so that was fun. I agree. I, uh, I've looked up to John for a long time. I'm a big fan of his, and he, he's the ilk of character actor that I have always aspired to be. And, and so upon meeting, you hope simply that they're not an asshole. If they are, then you become professional. And after that was a... Yeah, after, so that, sadly, after that was clear, not, uh, I uh, donned a mask of professionalism and, uh, did your job. <laughs> and friendliness. <laughs> I'm glad it worked. Nick, John, PJ, thanks very much. Thank Congratulations you, on the founder. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!